Hi, everybody. Welcome to Micro Interviews with Local Authors. My name is Adam Jackman. I'm a librarian at the Pierce County Library System. Today, we have local author Lance Weller. How are you doing, Hi, Lance? Hi. How are you doing? Doing great. Thank you so much for taking this time. It's um, this be quick. my favorite librarian. I'm happy to talk to you. Oh, well, thank you. Favorite. Um, so, Lance, you are the author of Wilderness. That's my book, yeah. Critically acclaimed, I think one could say. Um, it's really great. People loved it. Um, but I've heard, and your background confirms, that you have quite the passion, say, obsession with comic books. Yeah, I always have been. When I was a, a kid, I wasn't allowed comic books beyond classic illustrated, which, which were great. Uh, you know, things like uh, Grimm's Fairy Tales and, and Mother Goose and that kind of thing. Uh, but as far as classic illustrated go, my parents also got me a copy of Joseph Conrad's Lord Jim, which was uh, a little bit much for a six-year-old. But I wasn't allowed superhero comic books. And so, of course, uh, that was all, all I wanted. Um, and so I just pined after them and pined after them and, and finally convinced my grandparents to buy me a copy of Conan the Barbarian number 24, which was sort of an infamous issue. Uh, I could talk all day about it, but it had Red Sonia in it, and I was also way too young uh, to be looking at that. But uh, seeing an actual superhero-esque comic and holding it in my hands and reading it, it just uh, brought out this sort of uh, lifelong passion. And once I started buying comic books in my teens, I couldn't get enough of them. And what they did is, is they taught me a lot about language. You know, say what you want about Stan Lee as a writer, he knew how to sling a phrase. He knew how to uh, freight his word balloons with uh, a, a language that just sort of rolled off the tongue. And I was constantly going to uh, uh, the dictionaries to find out what the hell he was talking about. You know, when he said Excelsior, I, I, I had no idea what that meant. Uh, and it also, you know, reading comics taught me a lot about pacing and plot and character. I, I got to the point where I knew if a writer was writing Spider-Man and not getting Peter Parker's stuff right, it sounded wrong. You know, so I knew, I, 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 I got to learn a lot about character and, and, and pacing. And uh, I just never looked back. Do you think about comics when you're writing? I mean... No, no. Okay. Um, not, not at all. That's... that's uh, I don't really know what I think about when I'm actually sitting at my desk writing. It's it's like it's a different person. I, I'll uh, you know in the in the editing process I'll go back and, and rewrite certain portions and, and as I'm going along, reading off what I've written and, and 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 revising it, I'll be thinking a couple of sentences ahead. Well, this is going to sound nice and this will sound all right and this will be good, but I've already done it on the page over here and I don't remember having done it before. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, you enter this, I don't know, um, call it flow, call it uh, 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 an artistic miasma. I, uh, I get lost in stuff and, and, and I don't really know what I'm doing. So comics are not at the forethought, forefront of my mind when I'm, when I'm actually working. Well, I asked the question because I've heard that Wilderness is going to become a graphic novel. Yes, right? in, in France. That's one of the big... Wilderness was my first novel, and that was one of the big surprises. Was a the fact that anywhere anyone else in the world would would be interested in bringing it out, but b uh, the fact that it became sort of a small hit in in France. Uh, I've been told it's it's regarded as sort of a cult novel. And when I was approached through social media uh, uh, with the idea that yeah we want to make a comic out of Wilderness, I was. I was over the moon. I was delighted. Sign me up right now. Um, let's go. Let's do it. Uh, I was, I was so it was, it was a fantastic realization of a dream I didn't even know I had. And uh, you've seen some of the images. Are you yeah, happy with it? I mean, I've seen the whole book. I've seen the whole book. Yeah. Okay. Um, I had a uh, little input with it beyond uh, a few historical concerns and, uh, uh, and the original cover image was, 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 was something I commented on. But it was adapted by uh, a very talented, uh, respected French author, comics author, uh, same thing. And uh, the art is 
fantastic. It's, it's evocative, it's, uh, it's playful, it's skillful, it's dark, uh, it's unsparing. It, it, I, I'm just, even if it wasn't my book, I think I'd be in love with it. Yeah, I think, I think it's just amazing how you went from, you know, serious literature here, but with this passion of comic books, and then somebody saw that, even if you didn't, and realized and put those two together, I think it's, it's wonderful for you and for all of us. Yeah, I think the publisher uh, noticed some of my posts on like Facebook or Twitter or something like that about you know comics. You know, I drop a few things here and there, and and uh, had read Wilderness, and to my my for good fortune, he you know he just said, "Hey, my, can we do this? Are you interested? Is this okay?" And actually, the French comics industry is a lot more serious than than here in the states. Yeah, they've got their superheroes and stuff, but they also have a wide range of adaptations like for wilderness and and original works um and i found in in my my various tours in france that the french have a real appetite uh, the intense interest interest in american history especially in that of the uh uh cowboy uh, milieu or uh, the civil war era so that uh, that was also a surprise, but it's just it's just delightful the way this has come together. Well, it is fantastic. Thank and you. we are out of time, so thank you so much. You take care, and uh, we look forward to seeing what comes next. Thanks for having me. All right, thanks, Lance.